A new exhibit opens tomorrow at the Woody Guthrie Center featuring two never-before-seen paintings by the folk singer. Anna Canoni is Woody Guthrie's granddaughter. She is in Tulsa and she is here on our program. Great to meet you and thanks for coming in. Thanks so much for having me. So your mom, Nora, was Woody's daughter. daughter. Mm -hmm. You had obviously, she was young when Woody passed. Yeah, he had Huntington's disease and passed away at a very early age. He was only 55 mm -hmm. and he'd been hospitalized for almost 15 years with the illness. So uh, the creative output is really a 20 year span. And when you think of the creative output of Woody Guthrie, which is thousands and thousands of lyrics and art and prose and books is really astonishing that it was such a short creative window that right. he had. But the impact is is incredible. I want to show the pictures because these are these have never been seen before. Um, and tell a backstory. The first one we're going to see is the one of Jesus, and and I believe he actually had said uh, that he had done these for like d as decorative paintings for neighbors. Yeah, he his first uh, job was really as a visual artist. That was his love was painting. And so during the Dust Bowl and the Depression, he would travel and get jobs painting signs out. You know for on the windows and right. for shops and stuff as he traveled along. And so he got to California and although he was now a songwriter and performing on a KFVD radio with his singing partner, Lefty Lou, uh, this painting is just has just been discovered and yeah he painted a lot and we still have a lot of in for you know information on all the different artwork he has. But it, I think that this is so interesting because nobody would guess that although Woody was a visual artist, his were more relaxed art, you know, it was right. more quick brush strokes, sure. or, you know, doodles or illustrations and, and to see something that is so perfected and real, you know, he looked at a photo of Jesus and he painted it with the shading and the shadows. It's, I think it's really impressive. The next one is of George Washington. Yeah. It's incredible. Now these it's were incredible. found in someone's closet. In someone's closet. So, you know, this happens every once in a while. Uh, you know, you pack up your stuff, you pop it in your attic, and then maybe your kids find it. Right. So uh, Michelle Farrar Harris found this in her parents' uh, house. And she said, I think Woody Guthrie did this. Does anyone know? And so she reached out to us and spoke with my mom, Nora, and they had a wonderful conversation, really detailing this time in Woody's life, the late 1930s when he was living in Glendale, California. Now I had to show this next one pretty near. I just thought it was pretty. I just thought it was so lovely. And this is the kind of art that we're more accustomed to right. Woody drawing, right? These are very loose figures and, you know, huge swaths of color and vibrancy. And, but not that real detailed work, mm -hmm. which is why the other two are so, such special finds. Now, the exhibit starts tomorrow. These yes. will all be on display. There's some handwritten lyrics. Tell us about that. That's the next picture. Yeah, Woody wrote over 3,000 lyrics. And so California Stars is right here. And it's one of our favorites. You know, Woody didn't know how to write music notation. So unless he recorded it, he didn't, uh, we don't know what his music was. And so my mom, Nora, has worked with contemporary musicians over the last three decades, releasing these previously unpublished lyrics with new original music. And California Stars was on our Mermaid Avenue album with Billy Bragg and Wilco. Oh, I love that. Well, I think the thing that's cool about this, the exhibit is called People Are the Songs. Yeah. What do you want people to take away when they go see this exhibit? Yeah, Woody said, there's there's no real trick to creating words to music once you realize the word is the music and the people are the song. And Woody's whole life of, you know, maybe hardship during the Dust Bowl and the Depression onto his later life, he, his own personal struggles carried forth in empathy and understanding with others. And so we really tried to highlight all of the people whose stories he preserved in his lyrics. So whether it was the Barrett Ballad of Harriet Tubman or, um, or uh, Ingrid Bergman, you know, people that we know, Dear Mrs. Roosevelt, but also people like Ilsa Koch, who, were, who was a, a woman in a who ran a concentration camp. And so really he's very versatile in the topics and people that he covers 
a huge range and so we try to present all of that in our exhibit. That's going to be wonderful. It opens tomorrow, runs through February 5th at the Woody Guthrie Center and we'll put a link to the center at our website at newson6.com. Thank you. Thank you, your family, for continuing this legacy. Um, you know, I was telling you during the break, this land is your land will always be one of my favorites from elementary school. So thanks to Grandpa Woody. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thank you.